So did you know that 3.14% of all sailors are really pirates? That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. We uh, Welcome back to two more. Just we, two more. We have two more. Uh, this is coming from Athens, Georgia. And it's Terrapin. The Hopsecutioner. It's a turtle running a guillotine. How bad can it be? It says Warrior, Chinook, Simcoe. It's trademarked, by the way. Don't sue me. Yes. Uh, Amarillo and Cascade Centennial. Six varieties of hops. That's this many. Yes. Or this many. Or that many. <laughs> or this many. <clears throat> there you go. Just two more. Just two more. All right. Two. So, let's say how the Ninja Turtle beer. It's a killer IPA. Yes, killer IPA. Oh, wait. There are six varieties of hops in a beer enough to lose your hop head over. We at Terrapin think so. To prove it, we've made our hop executioner IPA with the choicest buds we could find. The magic glasses. It may surprise you, but it smells very citrusy. No. It does. It is pretty citrusy. And. <laughs> taste. It's IPA. Which it I'm, tastes hop scotch delicious. I'm starting to enjoy. You are too. Oh, tilt the glass. I don't think it matters. That little pissed off turtle's like holy crap. Stirring it up. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect pour. <laughs> this is coming in with um, 7.3 horsepower. I thought it was a 12 ounce can. It is a 12 ounce can. But 7.3 of it is uh, alcohol. So how many ounces is that? That many. So it's like a shot of whiskey. So you oh. Probably, yeah. Pretty close. It would be 0.84 ounces, give or take. Of alcohol? Yeah. So about 0.85. I forgot about the 0.3. Yeah, you forgot to carry, anyway, you forgot to carry the one. That looks like urine. That looks very uriny on a hot summer day after drinking. Two more after two more after two more. And, and forgetting to drink water. If your pee looks like this, you're dehydrated. Yes, drink more water. Yeah, that's the uh, hop executioner for sure. We've had worse. <coughs> we have. <laughs> the monk, the, what's it, the gorilla knot was. The gorilla knot is uh, way worse than this. Yeah. <laughs> Can you stick your finger in there like root beer and it go down? Nope. The head don't even move. Well, what do you think? I'm trying not to, but well, do do. Is this chuggable? you said do do. It's an IPA, so. Chuggable. I mean, I wouldn't recommend chugging a whole bunch of them. Uh, or one. Or, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Terrapin. The terrible hopscotch. The hopsecutioner. You missed us chugging it. 
Yeah. Anyway. Is it terrible? Is it terrible? It, it's, it's not. It's not bad. It's probably good for an IPA. Would you drink it again? We're going to ask you. We got four <laughs> more. At least uh, <laughs> two more each. Yeah, at least two more. <laughs> Just two more times. Yeah. Ugh. But no, it's, uh, it, it's redoable. I mean, it's. It's almost refreshing compared to some of the other. Uh, are the so IPAs the, seem to be getting refreshing? Well, what are you, you anticipating tasting an IPA? Yeah. Do you buy an IPA just to taste it? No, you buy for the uh, alcohol volume, I believe. No, no. Do you buy an IPA just to taste it? I want to taste it to see if there's that one unicorn IPA out there. Catalba. That's not how you spell the worm, by the way. No. Yeah. So where is this? No, this is North Carolina, isn't it? Uh, one of the Carolinas, in the north or south. Yeah. But, uh, we have the good, the white zombie by Catawba. It's a white ale, so it can't be that bad. Yeah, we need like I need to figure out how. To, if anybody knows how to add music after post production, maybe. I only know how to hit do me that up. Dirt. Let me know. Scooby Doo Scooby Doo That's how we add music. That's how you add music. The extra foam. And it says it has a fresh zesty citrus. Yeah. So. Huh. Let's see what she's making. He's only got one eyeball and two teeth. You sure he's not from Alabama? Might be Louisiana. Huh. Could be, yeah, anywhere. Smells better than Louisiana. It does smell, it smells white. Oh my God. Yay? Nay? It's not IPA. It's not like drinking an alka seltzer. No. So That's far, actually pretty good so for far a while. It's, uh, so far it's doing well. Hmm. We can almost chuck that just right out of the can. But we got to show everybody what we're working on with. I thought we weren't doing that kind of production. It's definitely light, if you can see it. Give me that shit. I don't want that shit. Tony, if you need to learn how to pour a beer. <laughs> see that campfire over there? I do. You better not bring my mother into this. No, so now we got to talk for six minutes while we're letting my head go down. That's awkward. Nobody's saying anything. Or <laughs> wait for my head to go down. But yes, this is a, this is actually a, it is a, it's it's fresh. It is. It's refreshing, and you can drink it all day. It's an all-day beer. Oh, absolutely. Nice and smooth. If you like white ales. Yes. If you don't like white ales, then... White ale brewed with spices. And it's coming in with how much horsepower? I don't know. All of them? No. It's just 5.1 of them. 5.1. You gotta have you need you need a point. Or was that five point one? More like five and then just a nub because it's it's not even a whole one. It's a point. It's a tenth of a one, so So like if you just have like a <laughs> nub So it's like five point one. Well that's like a third. You got three knuckles. I can drink my beer now. Okay. Now, is it chuggable? I bet it this, is. This one de would definitely be chuggable. If Do you we? chug an IPA, you can like funnel these. If you, ch if you chug a Gorilla Nod, you can... And live to tell about it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. That's a nice beer. I approve the White Zombie White Ale. 
I would definitely pick up uh, another one of those six packs for a barbecue or whatever. Just chilling. As long as we're not grilling the zombies. If we can find some zombies. No, no, you're, you're going to get the. If you've taken the vaccine, you might be entitled to compensation commercials. If you are someone you love, turned into a so, white zombie after yeah. taking the vaccine. So anyway, I will take the white zombie over the terrible hot Definitely scotch. do two more of those. Yes. And we now, can. I have a topic I need to discuss. If we this have, is going to be an intervention, you picked a horrible time to do it. Bad time. We, we have a brewing company <coughs> that is going to be changing their name. Yes. Should we go ahead and include that since we're already here? We can. Are you feeling up to it? Sure. Okay. Barwinch didn't even know that was coming. Old producer. She's like, what are y'all doing? No, it's two. Two just more. Two. Plus just two. Plus one more. Just, just two more. It's going to be two more. I wish. Now, this brewing company is out of New Orleans. Uh, it's going to be formerly known as Dixie Brewing. Yes. Uh, they will be changing their name to some kind of like Foghorn Leghorn Brewing. Falberg. Uh, yeah, Frau, Frauberg or something. Frauberg or something. They're going to change it because of cancel culture. Yes. Thank you, cancel culture. Absolutely. The only not going to cancel the beer, just the name of it. The beer is not going to change, just the name. They've already erased the name off the building or the water tower. Maybe. I don't know. Dixie beer. In the fridge. Look all the way to the left. In the back. We, th we threw the production crew for a loop. This was not supposed to happen. That is why you learned the Dewey Decimal System of placing beer in the refrigerator. <laughs> I didn't know you had that. I just looked for something to grab. There we go. Can we get a... Uh, I got this. The Dixie beer. Your arm. Yep. The Dixie beer. This is uh, going out of town. Yes. Uh, in 2021, the brewery was renamed the Falborg Brewing Company. F-A-U-B-O-U-R-G. How do you spell that? B I -R -G -A just spelled it for you. B-R-G. And I added an extra. You rolled that off. These nose. Cigarette light a trick works like a charm. And if you don't, it, if until you don't, it doesn't. Yeah, if you don't know how to do that, no. just hit me up. I'll let you know. But this is Dixie beer. Yep. Slow brewed lager. Now it's a very light alcohol content. Four point six horsepower. A little light. bit harder than the Coors Light. Not much. What is four point five? I think 4.2. 4. It's like a V6. Yeah. This is like a small V8. Small V8. Like the 4.6 Mustang. Can't really call them Mustang. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Absolutely drinkable. Definitely. It's a great beer. On the gullet. Yep. But look, you won't be able to find them as Dixie Beer. I don't know how we got these. Well, they haven't run out of production. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm sure they've still got stores. I'm going to go ahead and pour mine. At least the brewery's renaming. But Supposedly, not they're, they're not changing the beer, just the name. And you can look them up. And it's, like I said, it's all because somebody got offended by the name Dixie got a, Beer. Got a little butt hurt. Yeah, got a little butt hurt about Dixie. Got uh, quite a few little bubbles in there. Can you see those? Yep, that's a good beer. Yeah, mine's less bubbly. I have to give old Dixie props. And they also have like a little variety pack that I ran across too. 
Oh, yeah. Had the crimson and the voodoo and some other one in there. They were like, ras- I think the crimson was a raspberry. Didn't we have those before? Didn't we have Yeah. And the okay, voodoo and, and the some, whatever the other one was. And they were like an IPA yeah. before conditioned <laughs> near what we are now. Well, yeah, that's an easy drinking beer. That's, that's just a good beer. Start off with the worst beer and with your easiest. Yeah. And you'll go far. Because if you far drink... to the bathroom. Yeah, if you drink two or three of these and somebody hands you an IPA, you're going to want to fight them because it's that bad. But starting off with the IPA is actually pretty good. Yeah. It's not too good bad. Good for a beginner beer, starter beer. Especially and if you're looking for something to catch up with. Catch up beers. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, do we need to show them if it's chuggable? It's just a regular beer. I mean, a 12-year-old. This is just a holiday so. sipping on it. And I'm yeah. done chugging for the night. Yeah. All day sipping. Or for the next 30 minutes. I ain't got time for all day. Can't take you anywhere. Will, any words of wisdom you want to give our fans? No. You don't have any words of wisdom. Like and subscribe. You got anything better? No. Yeah, yeah, just do that. Comment on the video, whether or not you liked it or not, what we need to change. If there's anything we need to change, do you like what we're doing? Hopefully our production crew is getting a little better with our equipment. We started out with just a potato and now we've upgraded to a A potato potato. and a carrot. (coughs) A gassy carrot. (laughs) Gassy carrot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. Like, subscribe, that way you get a notification. Every time we put out a video. Any suggestions? Any kind of beers that you Absolutely. want to try? Absolutely. Any kind of. Please. We're willing to try anything. Yeah, we'll drink Just almost two anything. More. Two more.